Hey everybody, it is Tom, Vacationers Podcast, and I am here at SeaWorld Orlando covering the craft beer event that they're having now through October 31st. We're actually here for the uh, Hello Scream event tonight, but I decided to come in a couple hours early today. It's going to be from 2 p.m. to close. They have the craft food going on, or craft beer festival. So I haven't gone to this. So I'm going to cover this for you this afternoon. And yes, I may partake in a few, a few beverages along the way. So let's go find out where it is and get some nummies. Super cute, they have the dolphins playing with uh, different things. I don't think I've ever seen this. Hmm. No, no, they have gone crazy. They have some over there as well. Very nice. Ooh. All right, at the Yingling booth, I got the 15 sampler. I got the Raging Eagle Mango, which is a Yingling product. So, um, never heard of it before. Certainly a light um, beer. Mm, not my favorite Yingling for sure. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of mango, so I'm not sure why I got it. Other than, well, I never seen it before, so that's why. So, I had everything else, but uh, yeah, it's all right. But I got a 15 sampler for 60 some dollars. It's like 450 a piece for each sample. Um, that's the pass holder discount rate. So I'm about to go to the next thing here. Oh, lovely. All right, this is the number four hut. And this is the, like I said, Florida Sunshine Pilsen Malt Lager. Um, equally light. Uh, pretty good. Better than the mango, I guess. Since I'm not a big mango fan. Let me get in the AC a little bit and uh, check out some stuff. Stand by. They have a Guy Harvey section that you can buy his paintings. He does do wonderful work. Very nice. I think there's a boy over here too. Yeah. Wow. This guy has a lot of stuff. All right, at the uh, Vermont Cider Company, I got the mojito sample. I was gonna get the uh, Lynchburg lemonade, but it wasn't frozen. So then she said, well, the mojito's frozen, and yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not frozen at all. So I'm not sure what she's talking about, but still good. Uh, the customers in front of me got the um, got something with a a lime edible straw, so that is awesome. Never saw a lime one. Uh, definitely a formidable mojito. But let's move on. Try to get some food. Oh, there's the Sea World Spooktacular. <laughs> oh, super cool. Oh, so right now it's a spectacular, but by night, be afraid. Be very afraid. All right, here we are. Uh, there, apparently there's a ton of ants on this table, which isn't the best. So anyway, I got the brisket mac and cheese and a uh, Oktoberfest amber drink. Right over here, I'm not sure what the, I was looking it up and I noticed all the ants. But the interesting thing is, they don't have sample sizes for the um, food. So they give you the full portion of the food if you use your sampler 
uh, card. Whereas the beer or the alcohol, they have different sizes. They have a sample size and a regular size if you pay full, full price. So it seems like the food is the way to go as far as getting uh, the most out of your money out of this, this sampler because they don't have a sample size. You get the full portion. So this brisket mac and cheese smells divine, looks divine. Uh, let me eat some and I'll get back to you. Brisket mac and cheese, very good. Now I've never had so much brisket in my life over this past couple days. <laughs> had some brisket thing last night at HHN. Um, it's form formidable mac and cheese for sure. And the beer is good of course. But uh, yeah, definitely worth a sample price. Um, maybe if you're a big brisket fan, it's worth the uh, full price. I think it was like 10 bucks if you just wanted to buy it outright. So sample is definitely the way to go. Even if you pay full freight for, I think, if you get the non-discount um, non member rate, it's uh, like 650 a sample. So still worth the, uh, the effort of getting that over paying full price. Very good. On to the next thing. All right, in preparation for the event, they close at 5.30. So awesome. Here's a check-in. Great. Can't wait. Here we go. Snacks. Let's do this. Ah, uh, the promised land. Let's see. I honestly don't even know how many samples I got. I have five of them done. I, don't know if I, have, I think I have 15. So I gotta eat more food because uh, I can't keep this pace up. With the alcohol though so i don't mind giving it a shot i love this song by the way i don't know if you hear it my youngest son and i listen to this on the way to swim practice all the time hey all right i got the uh strawberry whiskey smash and the crispy buffalo cauliflower bites so let's go check those out right now <clears throat> These cauliflower bites look absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Uh, this looks less than wonderful, but that's okay. Yeah, it tastes like strawberry stuff. All right, let's go into this, because this is what I'm really interested in. Here we go. Very good flavor. Um, I wouldn't consider it hot. I'm talking about the temperature of the, the food here. Um, very room temperature. You can tell it's been sitting around. But as far as the flavor goes, wow. It really is good. Taste the buffalo and the dressing, the ranch, or whatever it is. Very good. I, I, I highly recommend this for sure. I don't know. I don't know what the price was, though. I remember. But for a sample, for sure. And this, uh, it's I feel like strawberry fruity drinks. Go for it. But otherwise, give yourself something special or something different. Nothing special with this. All right. Two more, two more samples down. Let's see what else we can get into. All right. At the Jack Daniels Whiskey Hut. Uh, I tried to get the frozen Manhattan, although it's not frozen, so it can't happen. So I got the uh, old fashioned, but it's cold fashioned. And he actually corrected me when I said, yes, I want the old fashioned. He said, you mean cold fashioned? <laughs> uh, it cracks me up. Uh, it could be the amount of alcohol I've consumed so far, but I thought that was very funny. Uh, so let's try it. Now it is a warm day here at uh, SeaWorld. So anything frozen is a welcome uh, refreshment. Uh, there is a line for people to get into these boats, which is amazing, these paddle boats. But yeah, no, this is uh, very good. I, I'm not an old fashioned uh, drinker normally. But it's cold, it's wet, and it tastes like alcohol, so I guess it's okay. This is from the Jack Daniels <laughs> Whiskey Hut. It's some uh, peach 
um, frozen drink. I only got it because you get the edible straw. So this is a lemon edible straw, which I've never had yet. I know they have um, lime ones throughout the park, which I haven't got one of those drinks yet to get one of those, but <laughs> I do love the edible, straw, edible straws. Of course, this is the, let's see, fried sauerkraut sausage balls. It has uh, pork sausage, Philadelphia cream cheese. So uh, it looks quite delectable, actually. So let me uh, dig into this and see what it's like. All right, so the uh, sauerkraut, no. <laughs> So the sauerkraut, uh, peach balls, or yeah, peach balls, wow, I'm mixing up two things. Sauerkraut sausage balls, very good. Um, you can see what it's like in the consistency. Tastes very good. So uh, I highly recommend these. And the peach drink, it very, if you like peach, uh, most certainly get this drink. It is very peachy. I will walk over by the uh, peat, or by the stand and get the actual name of it for you. So I don't know what it is off the top of my head and it doesn't actually say it right here in the menu So I don't know what it is, but I'll get that for you one second All right, so at the Aunt Sam Adams, it was the fistful of frozen peach punch That's what it was got the lemon straw uh, It's almost um, four o'clock. It's like 350. I Have ten samples in I think I have five left to go and uh I think I gotta slow down a little bit. <laughs> I went hard early. And I probably shouldn't be mixing uh, liquor with beer. It's probably, well, I, I know for my own self, that's never a good combination. So I think I might wanna stick to the beer here on out for the last five samples. God knows, I, I am full. I mean, I, I am stuffed. Though I do know that there is a cheesecake somewhere. There's cheesecake um, that you can get. And I am a sucker for cheesecake. Ooh, how, how nice is that? That's cool. We will have a video out covering this Hello Scream event. Actually, we'll be covering it tonight. So if you're uh, interested, uh, keep an eye out for that as well on the channel. That will be a glorious time. Whoever thought of a beer festival before a Halloween event, uh, that's a very good combination of events. <laughs> Had to have back to back for sure. Uh, the old Infinity Falls. I think we're gonna be uh, doing this tonight as part of the Halloween event. I have my GoPro, my wrist strap, so uh, if we do do this, I will be sure to record it for that video. I have my vesties on, so I am waterproof. Hoorah! But I think I'm out of the uh, food festival section of this event so let me uh, turn back around and uh, see another booth i think i have five more samples to go and this section closes at 5 30 so i bought an hour and a half all right so uh there's the hello scream check-in right here by i don't know by mako in the section uh it's what, almost four o'clock and i got my wristband for the tonight's event already so if you're in the park during the day for hello scream and you plan on staying uh as long as you see guys stationed there, you can go up there, scan your ticket, they'll give you a wristband, and you're good to go. Then they won't, you won't have to be part of the mad rush, like at six o'clock or whatever, to uh, go get your ticket. So that's cool. All right, let's try to find that cheesecake. Although I am not the least bit hungry. <laughs> I saw five samples ago, and I don't know how much more uh, alcohol I can drink or how much food I can intake, but I gotta push through. So let's see what I can do. Here we go. All right, I was hunting down the uh, cheesecake. And here was at a booth I was already at. This, they didn't have any signage. Like if you go to the Vermont Cider Company, there was no signage whatsoever for the cheesecake uh, in the actual booth. So I got a mojito there before. The, the frozen lemonade, like I said before, was uh, not frozen. But he said it was good now. Uh, it's still, that's still frozen. Yeah, it's not frozen, but still. Uh, so some hard lemonade and, of course, the white chocolate raspberry cheesecake cone. Now, there's no chance in heck I'm going to be actually able to eat this whole thing. I mean, it's just too, I mean, it's, it's wonderful, obviously, but it's just too much. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to take my lemonade, eat as much of this cone as I possibly can. Uh, I think I'm down at, I'm up to 12 punches now. So I have three more punches left. 
and it is uh, 4.30, so I have an hour and a half, so I, should, I think I can do that. Uh, man, they have the pumpkin and blueberry uh, cheesecake waffle cones or cones as well. That pumpkin one has my name all over it, but my lord, I can't finish this one, but oh my god, it's so good. White chocolate raspberry cone. Oh, lovely. Get this if you're uh, at this event, please. All right, let me eat this thing, or at least attempt to. All right, I did a pretty good job. I got uh, all but this eaten. Not, and I could technically eat this, but I mean, there's no cheesecake left, so what's the point, right? And it's just, I'm already stuffed beyond I can handle why eat this little piece of crappy cone. Uh, I finished my drink. It's now 4.43. So I like it. Hour and 20 minutes, hour and 15 minutes to uh, spend three samples. Uh, I should be able to do that with no problem, I wouldn't think. Uh, especially since the last one I can get and carry around uh, after six o'clock. So that means I only have two to drink in the next hour, which uh, easy peasy, chicken greasy. So uh, let me, I don't know what I want though. That's the problem. I don't kind of, I went through all the booths, like drank everything I wanted to. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll look around and see what the last uh, three special items will be. I, God, I swear to God, if I get another piece of food, I'm going to vomit. So I, I just, I can't do it. Just, I mean, I'd like to, but my Lord, there's some shrimp. Um, what is it? Some, uh, oh, there's a nachos too. Oh my Lord. There's a nachos in the Funky Buddha Brewery, which is right up from where I am now. How am I going to eat nachos? You know, I love the nachos. Everyone, if you ever watch anything I ever do on the YouTube channel, you know, I love me some nachos. Um, I just don't know how I could possibly put nachos in my mouth, but I may attempt to because they have quesadilla. Oh, they have a quesadilla and nachos. Oh my Lord. I should have went there and got two things there. Maybe my last three things will be nachos, quesadilla, and a beer, but I will die. I will literally die. So that's probably not the case. Maybe one food, two more alcohols. Uh, let me go over there now and see what, uh, what the food looks like and I'll grab a food. Oh God, and a, uh, and a beer. All right, cerveza, here we go. All right, so I just talked to a lady here at the Funky Buddha Brewery. Um, she said they're open till seven, which I'm not sure what sense that makes since this is a park closed. I think the park closes at six and you have to be like in a holding pin until, I don't know. I don't know how that works, but she said they're open late. So it's, um, what, almost five now? So I'm gonna go over here, grab a beer at this one uh, uh, bar over here, whatever I can get as a sample. And then I'll go back there closer to six and get a beverage and a nacho or a quesadilla, whatever um, one appeals to me at the time. That way it gives me an hour to let that, oh, that cheesecake settle. <laughs> uh, oh, here's the bar, by the way. So the number three, South Beach brewing in sun creek brewery so let's go see what we can get from here all right so i'm at this uh whatever this is and i got the um strawberry orange mimosa sparkling l yeah i guess it tastes like a mimosa that's fine so i was talking to um one of the workers here and apparently the park is open till seven and hell scream starts at seven so there is no in between where you get to hang out in a special section, I guess. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, my kids are coming at six. So uh, I guess you got a hour in the park and then you have to, you're regulated back to the Hello Scream section of the park where they have all the uh, houses and shows. So uh, it'll be interesting. So that, like I said, that'll be another video that you can watch uh, that will be out sometime same time this comes out so uh, make sure you check that one out too but until then uh, let's see it's I don't have my watch on me so I don't know what time it is it's about 5 p.m. I'm gonna relax here with my uh, weird mimosa drink and enjoy the uh, scenery all right my last two uh, samples were used at the funky Buddha brewery 
I got the uh, nachos and the quesadillas. I'm actually not going to actually eat them myself. I am taking them over to my kids who are uh, coming. It's about 6 12. They're coming for house scream tonight, so they're going to come in the side entrance. I'm going to give them give them to them. Uh, they look absolutely delicious. I'm sure they are. But uh, I think this is going to wrap up this video because, boy, this. Uh, this bird is really interested in my food, I gotta tell you. I was gonna go over and grab utensils and a napkin and leave this food here, but that's probably a huge mistake because this bird has got some, uh, some moxie here. I mean, he's just not, he doesn't care. He's like, he's coming in for you. So let me wrap up this video right now. This was the Craft Beer Festival at SeaWorld San Diego. I was here for about, know, about three hours or so. Oop, he almost fell <laughs> And uh, <laughs> uh, I was here about three hours, so tried all the booths, at least some of the food. Uh, very good. I highly recommend if you're in the area and you want to sample some beer and food, do check it out for sure. But now I gotta prepare for Hello Scream, which is only uh, within 45 minutes away. So I gotta go meet my kids and uh, do another video for that. So. Uh, that's all I have, so please, uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, do all that good stuff on the YouTube channel. Also, we have uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Vacationers Podcast, or Vacationer Tom. That can be found in those. Go check that stuff out. Uh, and uh, I thank you all for watching. And uh, until, I guess, you watch the Hello Scream video that's coming, uh, take care and uh, be good to one another. Bye. Yeah, exactly. Because the pirates stole it. Yeah. So we're going to practice with using... Okay. Uh, oh, Alright, yeah. I'll go see if I can find it. Alright. We can boost the box up if you get the treasure. Oh, there you go. That's a great idea, Thank you. I'm going to go this one. Wow. I'm going to go this one. Hey, hey, hey. You're going to do what? Ah! 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 I'm so sweet. That's very Listen, what you got to do? Ah! <laughs> oh. Alright, get up. Just, just get out of the way. Alright, let's think outside the box for a minute. Hey, boss, how about we stand on a box to get to the box? That's a great idea, Lester. I'm going to give you a beer. Hey, yeah, all right. Alright, all right. so uh, let's see. How are we going to see the Just get a box. Yeah. Bring that out. Just yeah. that. Oh, okay. yeah. Alright, I got it. And then, you know, hope this is what. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, see, now I can use these boxes just to climb up to get to the treasure. Oh! Retrieval! Retrieval! The treasure is gone! I got it! He's a pirate! Get him! Get him! Get that guy! Get that guy! Get that guy! Get that guy! Hey, boss, give that to him! I'll give it to you! That's a treasure!